listening to Broken Man Radio Sunday Edition. Broken Man Radio Worldwide, affiliated with Yeehaw Woo on YouTube. Check us out sometime if you get the chance. Today, we're going to talk about something really, really important. It's called hope. You look around this world today, inflation's up and gas is up and all these things going crazy. Matter of fact, today, just seen a bunch of kids fighting out in the streets. This is no joke. The world we live in has changed. You know, as a kid, I used to sit back and go to church camp, and I would hear about these warning signs of what it's going to be like in the future. And as that future is here, I'm going, uh, we were warned about these things. But you got to stay close to God. How do you do that at times like these? When you get depressed, depression is real. Depression is real. You know what's causing that depression? is building up hope and dreams around this world. Building up hopes and dreams and all these aspirations in this world is only going to bring you down. And what I mean by that is where is your hope? Where is your hope today? You know, uh, if you can't go to church, are you reading your Bible? When you tell someone, hey, I'll pray for you, are you really going to pray for them? These are things that we have to ask ourselves. You know, I'm going to say that the hope that we have is only, only in Jesus, who came and died on a cross to take the sins of the world. Because God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for our sins. And he rose. That's right. It's, it's the great old story of redemption. He rose from that grave. He got up from that grave and he came and he said, I'm coming back. Now go among each other and tell what you have seen. That are, so we're going to get that hope in our hearts only by asking God to cleanse our hearts. So that hope is there. The hope is there in Romans chapter 5 has got that hope. Now, my voice is no professional voice that you hear. This is not Paul Harvey. This is not, you know, I love listening to James Earl Jones. And better, better than that one, Morgan Freeman. But I'm not one of those voices, and I'm not going to sit here and read the Bible to you. Because I hope you read it for yourself. It's so much more personal when you read it for yourself. But I'm going to go with verse 5. This is Romans chapter 5. I would say read the entire, entire chapter. It's really good. But Romans chapter 5, verse 5. And I'm, I'm going to read down. I'm going to read down here just a little ways. Now, starting in 5. Hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Who was given to us? Now, by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us? Now, for a lot of people, don't really understand the power that is within. You see an evil world. You see all these things of desperation. But what you have to remember is, when you're living and walking with God, He is living within you. And therefore, it makes you so much, so much more peaceful inside your heart. Now, if you're relying on your money or your possessions or your degrees to give you that hope and that, that inspiration, listen, if it can be bought, it can be taken. I always remember that one. But we pick up here, and it's just so, so, I, I just, when you get down and you get depressed, you got to jump back into Romans chapter 5. And for picking up on six here, for when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Mm. So God died for all those people out there in this world, bad or good. Those people that are out there and they're protesting and they're wanting unborn children to be murdered. God still died for them too. God died for the godly, the ungodly. 
Now, I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm just saying today's world is not the same world it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. When you look outside your window, none of these things that you have are guaranteed tomorrow. And that includes your life. I've seen people pass away in the last year. I'm like, man, it's hard to believe. But there is no guarantees here on this earth except for, that's right, the hope we have. Once we leave this place, the hope we have is guaranteed to us by what Jesus came and done and rose from that grave. And God loves you regardless. You know, Romans chapter 5 is the focal point this week because I believe we need to talk about hope. People don't have enough hope in this world. I continue on 7. For scarcely for a righteous man but one die. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. I'm in 8. But God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It's a beautiful story, but the story is 100% true. Now, I remember years ago, I I grew up in the church and I mean, people picking me up for Sunday school and take me to Bible quizzing. And there was a lot of, a lot of good people out there for me back then. And a lot of those aren't here no more. I can go and reel off name after name, but uh, God sends people into your life. Maybe to give you that hope. But in this world, you cannot put your hope in what man is doing. You have to rely on what God is doing. Romans chapter 5 was our focal today, and I hope you take the time this week. I hope you take the time. When you tell someone you're going to pray for them, do it. Now, attending church, does that make you any more or less loved by God? No, it don't. But also keep one thing in mind. You want to surround yourself with those that are after God's Holy Spirit. Praying for one another. When we get down, someone to call on. And having that, and I know this word's ever played these days, but that accountability for one another. You know, I may have Broke Man Radio just doing these things with Atlanta Braves and doing these things here for Broke Man Radio Worldwide, but let me tell you something. One of these mornings, I'm going to enter into where I've been hearing and feeling God's love for all these years. Now, I'm going to enter into that kingdom. And I don't want to enter that kingdom as a rich man that didn't think of anyone else it's true I am a broke man it is true but inside your heart you can be broke but you can be so wealthy in God's love and spirit you're listening to broke man radio I don't try to do this every Sunday I think it'd be wonderful it'd be good for us here and actually I'll be praying for you <laughs> And pray for me, too, in this show here at Broke Man Radio. Spread the word, love one another. And remember, keep that hope that that God has given you. Much love. I'll see you on the Broke Man Radio show Monday morning. But next Sunday, another good one. I hope we can get a good one going. Love you.